Let's write this percent as an equivalent fraction. So keep in mind what the percent symbol means. I'll go ahead and write down my two tenths. Then remember percent means per hundred. So as a fraction, the percent symbol means one over one hundred. Now let's go ahead and simplify. You can think of this as two tenths over one. This is not really a good form for a fraction because the numerator has a decimal in it. So let's go ahead and multiply the numerator and denominator of just this fraction by 10. Now why? Because multiplying by 10 has the effect of moving this decimal point one place to the right. So I'll no longer have a decimal number in this numerator. And as long as I do the same thing in the numerator and the denominator, I have an equivalent fraction. Now we still multiply by 1 over 100 from here. So let's see what we have. We have 2 tenths times 10. Remember that has the effect of moving the decimal point one place to the right times 1. Well, that's simply 2. In the denominator, I have 10 times 100. And notice there is a common factor of 2 in the numerator and the denominator. If you'd like, you can write it as 2 over 10 is 2 times 5. And then I have the 100. And you can show the dividing out of the 2's. And so what do I have as an ending result? I have 1 over 5 times 100, which is 500. This original percent written as a fraction in simplest form is 1 over 500.